Hello everybody. I am back for my match against Linacy, the first game where I took the vampire accounts and he had the orcs. So pretty hard match and I'm not really a vampire accounts player, but I had to counter with something so I tried the vampires. I went with Manfred with uh, the salmon, Nehek and Gaze of Nagash to potentially snipe Grom. The double scap squads uh, White Kings on foot. Four zombies as a front line. Stonesmen, two Grave Guards, and two zombie skeletons. Ah, uh, skeleton warriors. And Blood Knights. And one Black black Knights. And a Black Coach. And a Dire Pack. So Dire Pack can help potentially kill the Spider Riders. Kill some cav and they have entire large so they can also you know if you get the surround on, on Grom on something large and put preferably an armored. It's pretty good. Black coach, uh, if microed well, will kill a lot of infantry, but gotta be careful of black ox mostly. So for him, uh May G Marauders, the Wolf Riders, Awa. Forest Goblin Spider Riders, just two, you no, know, just two skirmishers, he has archers in the back anyway. So, two Orcaro boys, and he's got Grom the Punch, of course. Uh, just, uh, he's so strong, why not take him, you know? And uh, it's gonna change soon. Green skins won't be as um, much of a problem. So, he's got the usual kit. I don't know his name though, so let's see. Language of the boys, into psychology, to everything. That great and is here. Okay, that's just the buff. Great. The lucky banner, just so he can, you know, kill a dragon in melee. Easy. He's a chariot lord. And the act of Grom. Okay, yeah. So he's going all in. <laughs> Alright. So, Venditti Briere and the other guy, the Orc Shaman, he's got the uh, blah, blah, blah. What's the name of these spells? No, I can. You can see I, I play a lot of Orcs. Case of something. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Brain Burst and Gaze of Moth. Great. So he's gonna snipe me, pretty much. So two Black Orcs, just uh, it's not it's not easy to kill. Two Savage Beacons. He's got two Night Goblins, one being the Awa Fanatics, Unbreakable. And just two Shitty Goblins. And one Orc Boar. Boar. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! So, first phase, uh, not the most interesting, you know. Just advance, uh, try to dodge. I will try to catch his uh, spider riders and wolf riders, but it's not gonna be easy. And it's just gonna be dodging stuff. So, dodging, dodging, dodging. Trying to get him with my dogs. I will get a few of them. But then Grom comes, then I dodge this. Brain bust. So not bad. Pretty good start for me. And he took the focus damage. So that's a plus. But he's camping the hill, so I have to advance. I also forgot about my blood knights pretty early on. So sniping the black coach. Nothing really I can I can really do about that. Try to dodge, but everything connected. So the white kings are pushing, trying to get uh, to screen to screen my uh, my army from his uh, skirmishes. I still have, I have my dogs ready to jump on them, but no, he's being quite careful, so it's not so easy. Yes, yes, they killed two of them, three, amazing. So now I'm getting closer. So I can potentially scap scratch something. I was searching for his goblins. I, I was pretty sure, you know, he took them, as always. But I didn't see them, so I was waiting with the scap scratch. Black coach took a lot of damage with uh, these missiles, so yeah, it's not going so well. And uh, yeah, forgot Orc boy is here, just one. So, I'm getting slowly there, slowly but surely.
I gotta be careful of his Grom because it's always a potential threat to my my front line. He's trying to get some damage on my White Kings. He could he could have taken some damage, but no, did not happen. So I chose to scab cross his archers because I did not see his night goblins even hitting his front line, so I assumed that he did not have them. So once I tie all the black horse here in melee with the zombies, I use a breath and boom, instant midlife. But I have to be wary about all of his missiles. He's uh, really focusing my dragon really hard. I'm trying to get around my black knights, but problem, I forgot the black coach. Here, trying to get some nice charges with uh, my cav and dire pack, but uh, it's, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing happened. So front line, I'm gonna lose pretty hard to the black ox. Like the grave guards are getting destroyed. Here, the gaze of Nagash did nothing to Grom, but I got rid of one of his black ox or nearly yeah now he's dead he's being very careful with his poor poor voice like he's waiting for me to engage oh the, oh god he unleashed his uh hellish uh boulders <laughs> and you can see my army is already super thin like the black ox and the savage begins just destroyed my infantry like super hard <laughs> and i just have my stonesman and my viking doing things and my mobility and the black coach is still uh you know killing <laughs> just chilling no problem it's, it's a fine day you know we are getting massacred but it's fine <laughs> so Blood Knights trying to do what they can. I really need to salvage them as much as I can with my dragon. And so it's all about the dragon, black, Blood Knights and my mobility, what I have left. So I'm trying to get the most out of everything. And the White Kings. Potentially the Black Coach could do a lot if I play right. It's not It's not over. I need to snipe the Orc Shaman. There, there's a potential here. Potential snipe and the Blood Knights are going for it. Problem is the Manfred is always scared to go for Grom because if he does, then he's stuck on the ground and potentially get on, you know, gonna get shot by literally everything. So it's a scary situation for him. Still, getting a lot of damage here on Grom, so pretty good trade for me. Still need to dodge a lot, and the Black Coach is trying his best, but you see when you are a big chariot you, you you just cannot push through goblins right it's uh impossible holy shit that's just the sad state of the meta like here you you cannot push through goblins so yeah so trying to ping pong with the calf got a big hail here on every useful unit in this so the dire pack and the two knights then manfred still trying to get the best position to kill Grom, but here that's not a good position. Like, really not. Like, three archers, Grom. He's not gonna kill Grom and he's gonna get shot by everything, so I need to get out of there really fast. Like, right now, and try to dodge as much as I can, but he's gonna need support, so I instantly drop zombies. So, you know, the calf and the dogs are getting this back, but he still has some savage biggins and the our goblins, some black ox, it's really tough. Still a lot of archers, lots of ammunition, and of course Grom. But at least I got rid of his magic. For now. <laughs> because I cannot really chase them. I could, but I'm going toward the orc boar and the black ox, which could potentially be dangerous, but... In hindsight, I think this should have been the play. Finish this guy and finish these two and the scrap here instead of fighting here. I, I, I was trying to cycle charge. But uh, yeah, Manfred here is stuck and really in a bad position. He really needs to get out of there. The White King still doing that thing. I don't know what's the situation in, in terms of Scabs Cross. It's hard to say. But Manfred is getting low, he needs to finish the Night Goblin. Come on, come on, come on. Get him! 
It, it. And that's a miss. Did it got terrified? Once more. And then the cav still trying to psycho charge everything. I should do well here. Against some night goblins, sorry. So in my mind here, it's about the blood knights and keeping the dragon alive. So big big mistake here. I should have kept this uh Cat's crest, like that was not a good cast, like really bad, really, really bad. He doesn't have MP, so he doesn't kill Black Ox. And here, the saddest thing in the world so you are a big dragon, and in case you are going to 1v1 a guy on the chariot, you, you just have to run because he's stronger than you. <laughs> so, yeah, here Manfred is getting spanked his, uh, his tail uh, by uh, some wolf. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah, yeah. scratching his tail, and I'm pretty sure he's getting damaged pretty often. Hmm. No. Well, at least they have that, but he took a lot of damage before, and being very low, he's still, you know, on his tail, literally, and cannot uh, <laughs> cannot go up in the sky. So, and I also tried to finish his ball boys my cab with two of them but it took so long even though they were almost almost dead and then the black orcs just uh, were able to catch them and just get too much damage here i got a nice zombie stomach on grom but for some reason this chariot has mass and uh, he got away so wasted zombies but my cab is coming and here is my last chance of bringing this back so i'm trying to get uh, him trapped in my, bli in my uh, blood knights I still have a breath here so I would use it but at the moment I use it is just get out so yeah I could have could have done it but still trying Manfred gonna uh, gonna terrify the forest goblins or maybe not no it's not gonna work why not and uh, still not connecting very well with Grom it's very low, very very low. I need my blood knights to survive, so I will try to ping pong between some units. So first the black ox, then try to get out of there. And try to finish this, I think. Or maybe finish Grom. Oh, big, big chunk. Nice, go dragon. Go, go, go. And at the same time, I have my two white kings just living the best life. Or, and life. <laughs> Problem is the blood knights are getting very low and they reach the heal cap, so no motion and against from them, they're gonna die. So it's about the white kings now, the summon zombies, and I still have a potential snipe here with the gaze of Nagash. Nice hit, nice hit. So it's definitely doable. Here I was very scared when I did that. <laughs> <laughs> like charging the black ox with the with how the game works right now the, the dragon could have just died <laughs> in a few seconds if he actually turned to attack me but he did not so white kings important here that they don't have cap stress anymore i wasted one of them and it was very bad plus the first one should have been used on the goblins but i did not see them here would have been amazing to have a breath but i'm pretty sure i used the three of them already so problem here is he has still two archers but my dragon can still heal a little trying to finish grom here nice hit double hit just one more one more and grom would, would be down and the magic situation is really bad, so I needed to summon this on the archers, who have a lot of ammo still. And just finish them with the zombies. Problem is, if I kill Grom here in one or two hits, it's a GG. It's, it's over. So, Dragon can still do it, but ah, he goes down to the Black Ox and the Savage Ox. So now it's about zombies and White Kings. The problem here is that Grom can just do whatever he wants and he's going to just heal, you know, no problem, he's gonna heal a little, very close, very very close. 
problem here. My only last infantry is a summon, so in a few few seconds it's just gonna die. And uh, the White Kings alone, they will have a quite a problematic fight against the Black Hawks. And uh, yeah, problem here again. Fuck our our boys. And uh, it's not looking so great. <laughs> Because even though everything is wavering, he can just take his time. And if he can take his time, it means that Grom will heal. And Grom, he hits like a truck. <laughs> even though he's a child, so he can totally kill the White Kings. So here I'm trying uh, to chase uh, the Black Hawks. So yeah, go chase. Go with your 23 speed. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Run! And uh, at the same time, I'm getting shot by uh, those nasty, nasty, nasty orc boys. But the the orcs are <laughs> so tired, <laughs> they cannot run anymore. So yeah, let's go. The last stand of the white kings and the uh, dreaded zombies. Problem is that there are a lot of black orcs and Grom can just buff everything and buff himself. And just, uh, yeah, do a lot of spanking. So, let's go, White Kings. If they can get two or three hits on Grom, it's definitely doable. Problem is that the Black Hawks are so sturdy that uh, it's, it's tough. It's tough. So, yeah, violent defeat. Uh, that was pretty violent. Uh, yeah, Blood Knights did very well. Uh, I used a lot of magic to keep them alive dogs not so much cav okay problem with the great gods that even though they got some value back did not do so well and the black coach uh wasted because first i totally forgot about it <laughs> and then he just got caught and died in uh, goblins and vegans so yeah Manfred did very well, he did what he could with uh, his spells and got some nice breath. Uh, sadly, one of the breaths uh, totally failed to finish Grom, who just got away at the right moment. Capscrass, not so great, but the White Kings did very well. Mm, and yeah, that's pretty good. Grom, a lot of value from buffing his allies and from fighting himself. And. Uh, so yeah, pretty good damage from these two mages as well. And his infantry, as usual, the, the goblins with the fanatics. Ah, disgusting. But in a few weeks, he's gonna say bye-bye to uh, this, because it's, uh, it's gonna change. Savage or vegans, always doing great. Black Hawks destroying my grave guard, so uh, pretty great as well. Archers doing well. Focusing my dragon, you know, you can't really go wrong, you're gonna get value here. Uh, oh boy, boy, begins, yeah, pretty good as well. And uh, good value from literally everything, you know, from the orcs. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically what you expect. Uh, yeah, it's, a, uh, it's pretty tough. But yeah, I tried. So that was 1-0 one, one from him. Then the second match was the Wood of Bretonia. And then there was a, a third match, of course, at the end. And uh, I might cast it later. So yeah, see you guys. Bye-bye.